Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Can you guys believe it? We are already here to our 2024 Christmas decorate with me. I cannot believe it, but here we are. So if you clicked on this video and you're new here, my name is Jessica and today we're going to be doing some Christmas decorating. And if you have been with me for a while, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you here. I am going to be decorating on a budget today. I only bought very few things new this year. Everything else has been used for like the past eight years. I'm just repurposing it and decorating it in different ways. So if you are decorating on a budget and you need some inspiration and some ideas, then definitely stay tuned. And if you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Before jumping into all of this decorating and cleaning, I first like to kick things off with a quick session on my treadmill. It really helps to get me in the right mindset and it boosts my energy for everything that I have to do. And this is my new treadmill by Yeasel. I absolutely love it. Plus right now with all of the holiday food and goodies and little snacks that we are going to be indulging in, I feel like now is as good a time as any to kind of pick back up on my cardio routine. I used to be so good about this, but I slipped off the bandwagon. But with this treadmill, it makes it so easy and fun. It's replacing my old dinosaur of a treadmill that I've had for like 10 years, and I couldn't believe the difference. This one is compact, sleek, and takes up so little space, so it fits perfectly into my home without being in the way. The best part is it has this amazing high quality screen. I can mirror my phone to watch my favorite podcasts or movies, and I can even scroll TikTok while I'm getting my steps in. Yeasel even offers classes through their apps, which makes it super easy to add variety to my workouts. It's honestly made my treadmill routine so much more fun and engaging. One of my absolute favorite features is that large screen and it's incredible sound quality. I can listen to music or shows without even having to wear headphones. There's even a cup holder for my water bottle, which sounds simple, but trust me, it's little things like that that make a huge difference. After my cardio session, I also love turning the screen towards me so I can do a YouTube workout. I love Glow With Joe. She has some amazing routines. It's honestly a game changer compared to squinting at my little phone screen, which I I was doing previously, I can see every move clearly, which makes the whole experience way better. Another thing that I really like about this treadmill is that it has these awesome multimedia features that you typically see on really high-end models that cost thousands of dollars. But the best part is that this is actually affordable. You're getting that high quality experience without the crazy price tag, which honestly is such a win and saves you a ton. And when I'm done, it's super easy to fold up and store away, which I absolutely love. It keeps my space open and flexible, which is perfect since I don't want my home feeling crowded. So if you are working with limited space, like maybe in your living room or your bedroom or if you are in an apartment this treadmill would be the perfect option if you're interested in trying it out definitely check out the description box for my exclusive code and all of the details with the special deals going on now is a perfect time to start your own fun and affordable workout routine at home with easel i really really love this treadmill and i would give it a solid 10 out of 10 Oh, and don't miss it because right now they are having their Black Friday sale and you can use my code Jesse, and that will save you an additional $100. And at that price, it is seriously a steal. Okay, so now that I am done with my workout, I have got to get to work and I've got, I've drug all my Christmas stuff out of our like storage closet room there. And this is everything, including like my wreath that goes on the front door and my doormat. <laughs> this thing right here is so heavy. So wish me luck. I've got to drag this up the stairs by myself and I'm not looking forward to it. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then the first thing I'm going to do is go through all of that and get rid of, I'm hoping my goal is to get rid of 50% of the things in there. Okay, you guys are always asking to see my basement or you don't even know that we have a basement and we do and this is your little sneak peek of it. I don't show it a whole lot because honestly, I hate going down here, but it's mostly Maddie's space anyways. It's kind of like her apartment. We do have a home gym down here, but this is also where I store all of my seasonal decor. So I got this bin out and <laughs> as you guys could see, I could not get this bin up the stairs by myself. It was so freaking heavy. It probably weighed 
weighed 100 pounds, no lie. So I kept taking stuff out and then trying again, and I still couldn't get it up. So I ended up having to make several trips up and down the stairs. So I kind of extended my cardio to this part of decorating. So I got a little bit more cardio in, which is never a bad thing, but I finally did get it up those stairs. And hopefully after I've gone through and you're about to see in these clips, I get everything out and I go through and I did. My goal was to get rid of 50% of the things in there and I did that. So I'm really happy. So hopefully now I can actually carry this thing down when it's time to put it up by myself without making several trips. And then next year I should be able to bring it up on my own. And I did have a few things that I got out that I wanted to bring up to the kids' rooms for their rooms. And I went ahead and put those up there and surprised them when they got home from school and they were really excited. And I did get just a couple of new things this year and I will talk more about that when we get to those clips, but I didn't spend much money at all this year. I did wanna get a couple of new items, but for the most part, I'm reusing everything. The little stocking holders that I'm gonna be showing, I've had those for probably eight years and I got them in the Target bullseye section. And I really just love them so much. I still think that they look really cute and they were $3 a piece and they've survived all of these years. So I don't know how that's possible, but I'm really glad and I just love them. So I love being able to decorate on a budget. I see a lot of creators go out and spend all this money buying new stuff every single year, which is totally fine if that's what they want to do. I just always wonder to myself, what do they do with all of the old stuff? Do they keep it? Do they sell it? Do they donate it? Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents. I did get this little tree from Target. I believe it was $14.99 this year. They have like a small, medium, and large size. I think this is the medium size. So that is a new purchase. But as far as the living room goes, that is the only new thing I got. And then I also put up my stockings from the years that I've had. And I really was wanting to implement more green. I've really been into that green color. So I went to Target the other day, not planning to buy stockings, but I happened to see the new ones by Hearth and Hand. And I absolutely love them. And I decided that I would go ahead and purchase those this year. I have had those other stockings for around eight years. So... I was ready for a change, so I am taking them down and replacing them with the ones that I found at Target, and I absolutely love them. I also love them because they're more stretchy, and we actually do use our stockings. Santa always brings the kids presents in their stockings, and these are going to work out a lot better than the other ones, but I absolutely love them. I'm obsessed with this green color lately, so I'm really happy to have found them, and I felt like they were at a good price point as well. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. I have had this Santa picture since Kinsley was born. I got it the year she was born. I remember being really big pregnant in Kirkland's buying this, and that is where I got it at Kirkland's. I can't remember how much I spent on it, but it couldn't have been that much. And I remember hanging it up, and I actually have a picture of our family. It's like our first family picture all together when she was born in front of that. But I have had him now for 10 years, so that's crazy. But I love him. He's like a tradition in this house, and I plan on keeping him and hanging him up every single year. It's just one of those things that the kind of the kids can get excited about. But I also did buy this new throw blanket from Home Goods as well as those pillows. And I like this throw blanket because I can use it year round. I don't just have to use it for Christmas, but it does work perfectly for Christmas. So I got this Christmas tree pillow and then this little one. And then I got the candy cane one and I couldn't decide where to put the candy cane one. Right now it's in my living room but I don't love it in there because the green is kind of the wrong green. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I couldn't pass it up because I loved it so much. And then for this little tray here, I am just popping out these candles that I keep up in here year round and I'm putting in these Christmas tree candles. They are battery operated. I got these last year on Amazon. I will try to find some very similar and link them. I remember last year they were really hard to get a hold of because they were kind of viral but they are my favorite Christmas decor item that I own at the moment. I absolutely love them. My heart like squealed with joy when I picked these out of the box because I was so excited to get these out again this year. I just think they are so pretty and I'm going to be so sad when I have to take them down. 
but I love them. So, and then I've got this like winter, I don't even know what kind of floral this is, but it kind of looks like it has frost on it. I've had that for years. And then I got this little house from the dollar spot at Target too. And then I don't know where I got the Merry Christmas sign, probably Hobby Lobby. And I was trying to decide between the two, which one I liked best. And I ultimately went with the house and I put the sign somewhere else. They both looked really good though. I think I could have gotten away with either one, but ultimately I went with the house. And then I did go to Target after this and get me a little pack of battery operated tea lights to go inside all of my little houses. So it looks like a little fire is burning in them at night and it is so adorable. Okay, I'm pretty much obsessed with how this turned out and this is the process. So I'm gonna go ahead and take everything down and just give it a good clean. I am using my gingerbread by Mrs. Myers. It smells exactly like gingerbread cookies. It's so good. And then this is another one of my favorites. I've had it for years and years. I don't remember where I got it, likely Walmart or Target. I always try to get the like inexpensive stuff because I don't like spending a ton of money on something I only have out a couple of months a year. And um, I also got those white Christmas trees last year, probably from Walmart. It seems like every year I pick up one or two little things. So that's kind of how I've been doing it lately, but I mostly just use what I've had. And I don't know why, but I this was an ADHD moment. I did that table and stuff, and then I went outside to do my outside decor, and then I came back in there. So I'm sorry about that, but I just kept thing in kept I kept things in order of how I filmed them, but I do have ADHD and sometimes I just bounce all over the place. So um I will show you an overview of how that turned out in there. But anyways, I am outside changing out my fall rug and my fall wreath for my Christmas stuff. I am going to take these planters inside and put them in the basement until it's over. And then I will be putting them back out. And as you see, I do have my little snack cart set up out here for the delivery people. And they have, of course, been loving it. And it's funny, this year, the peanut butter crackers have been the number one hit. Last year, it was the beef jerky. This year, for some reason, it's peanut butter crackers. I do not know why, but it's so funny every year to see what is the most popular item. But here's my little front porch. I didn't do trees or anything out there because I have in the past and I don't know, they just get on my nerves. And so I haven't, maybe I will again another year, but for this year, I'm just keeping it super simple. And then as I was taking a little break and then kind of doing some stuff in the background, I'm letting my robot vacuum, vacuum and mop, because as you know, when you've got all this stuff out, especially like flocked trees, dust and debris goes everywhere. So it's doing its job for me. And I've got all that stuff lined up at the basement door to take down. So I got lots of cardio done in this video. On a side note, I highly recommend getting a little pack of smart plugs and using those for things like your little lit up Christmas trees, like this one, for example. I have them on my lamps as well, and I use it on my Christmas tree as well. And basically, you can just run it from an app on your phone, and you can set timers to where the lights come on at a certain time of day and go off at a certain time of day. And I really love being able to do it that way. It's very inexpensive, and I will try and link a pack for you guys in the description box. But I highly recommend doing that, especially with Christmas decor, but I use them around for lamps and things in my house. I found this little tray at Home Goods. It was, I think, $6.99 or $7.99. And then this is a hearth and hand candle from Target. And then I did get new hand towels at Home Goods. I believe it was $7.99 or maybe $12.99 for a pack of two. But that's all I did new in here was just that candle and the hand towels. And of course, I will be using those for many, many years to come. But everything else in here was stuff that I've had for years and years. So overall, I think I did an excellent job reusing everything. I kept it very minimal and I'm really happy with how it turned out. And as you notice, I don't already have the tree up. And that is because I'm waiting a little bit of time. Somebody actually suggested this to me in a, in a video previously saying that she decorates for Christmas, but then she puts the tree up later because it can become overwhelming for her to have it up so long. And I totally agreed with that. And I thought it was a great idea. So that's what we're doing this year. So you will see the tree soon, but it's definitely not up quite yet. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to check out the description box for the link to the treadmill. It would make an excellent Christmas gift, if not for someone you know, but for yourself. And there's a spider. Ah. Ow. Oh, don't break your nails. Ah. Why are you just standing there? Are you not going to help me? Guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I might have to take some. Ow. <laughs> Because I think it'll work.
work. Always, people are always wondering, where's Bailey? Where's Bailey? What'd you do with Bailey? She's right here. <laughs> She's always around somewhere, aren't you, sweet girl? Mommy just had to go. Well, I'm not mommy. I'm grandma. But grandma just had to go get you out of your mommy's bed, didn't he? Yeah, I did. I did. But yeah, she's perfectly fine. Very spoiled and loved. Are you kidding me right now? Vacuums. I need a new. Okay. Not a vibe. Not a vibe. There is a daggone crow up there calling at me again. Last time I was out here cleaning, it was calling at me, and now I can see it. I do like the house. I'm really liking the house. I think that's gonna be it. But let's just see. Ooh, I like that too. What's your vote, guys? Do you like that better? It's behind the scenes, so I've already done what I've done, but still let me know. Do you like this better or the house better? Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's 